rare is an understatement. Beautiful does not do it justice. It's hard to describe the Griffin Lionheart. It was inspired by the Staggerwing G model. Uh, we like to think of it as uh, what Walter Beach would have done had he had the composite materials and, and uh, tooling that we have today. Larry French envisioned a composite home-built kit that would bring the golden era back to life. He wanted something that could haul six adults uh, with a lot of room, get there fast, uh, and something that looked classy. Six kits were made and this, the factory demonstrator, is the only currently flying example. Powered by an R985 with a 10 to 1 blower, this big cat can go. It's got the uh, useful load and payload basically of a de Havilland Beaver, so we're 5,200 pounds max gross. We cruise economy at 185 knots burning. We can get her back to 18 gallons an hour at 8,500 feet. Everywhere Lionheart prowls, it draws a crowd. It's fun, it draws attention. Which brings it full circle for current caretaker Chris Davis. I first met this airplane in, I believe it was 99, uh, which was actually my first trip to Oshkosh. Um, and I, I talked the ear off of Gordy, who was the test pilot and the demo pilot, and Larry French. They were both there showing off the airplane. And, you know, I was, I was a young kid at the time and, and just, uh, it was cool. I never thought, fast forward the clock, what's that, 12, 15 years, and uh, I would come to know the airplane, get to ride in it, and then be the guy flying it. Larry French no longer flies the airplane and allows Chris to be a steward of it so people can still see what might have been if Walter Beach had been around a half century later. We let everybody that assumes it's hard to fly just believe that. It just demands a little attention. It's got a few little idiosyncrasies. Uh, you don't fly it like a cub. Uh, you fly it like a Lionheart, um, but it's, it's not really that difficult to fly. On the night we took Lionheart up, we shared the pattern with a beach stagger wing over Tennessee. Both airplanes are a remarkable sight, but Lionheart roars. It's got a very distinctive whistle uh, that we affectionately call it Lionheart's roar. Um, and you can hear it in the cockpit once you hit around 200 knots. Before that, it's just everybody else around, you know, can hear it. Flying this airplane makes you feel like you were back in time. When design and function flowed perfectly together. When radial engines were the norm. And when class, taste, and style came with staggered biplane wings. It's a special airplane. It's there were only six built. Uh, and it, like I said, it's uh, it's basically a stagger wing of the next generation. In Tullahoma, Tennessee, Paul Harrow, AOPA Live.